Our people have abandoned their farms to avoid being killed by Flani herdsmen, Ondo residents. Residents of a whole local government area of Ondo states have said that they can no longer go to their farms for fear of being killed, raped or kidnapped by Flani herdsmen. They claim the recent killings of a vigilante and informant of the Ondo state security network, better known as Amotekun, by herdsmen has created tension in the area with some residents fleeing the community. A resident of the community told Sahara reporters that the forest reserve area in Owo is now a no-go area as gunmen have taken over the area. He said, a lot of things are happening in the area. This is the same area where they killed the Olofun of Ifon or by Israel Adeosi. Unfortunately, the police are now inviting chiefs of that town to Abuja to come and explain why they killed a cow. When the monarch was murdered, nobody was invited. Secondly, during the last operation by motorcycle operatives along Ute Road, they visited somebody, let me know, let me call him an informant because the person knew the terrain of the forest reserve area very well. The Amotekun coordinator in Owo went to meet him at home. The first day they had success, they had a successful operation. They arrested three flanny herdsmen. The following day they ambushed and two people were they were ambushed and two people were killed while the person one person is still missing. The cops of those the cops of one killed of the cops of one of those killed by the flanny herdsmen was left inside the forest until someone called a former special advisor to the governor who intervened. His corpse was then taken to the Federal Medical Center of War. You won't believe we were the ones that paid for all the logistics to move the corpse, not the government, not even a motorcycle. The families of the two persons that were killed, an informant and a vigilante, have been abandoned. There was no condolence visit to their families. It was only Olo that sent his chiefs to meet their families. Right now, most of us are afraid to go to our farms because of Flani herdsmen. We don't want to be killed. For those who summoned up the courage to go to their farms, they found that all their farm produce had been destroyed by cattle belonging to Flani herdsmen. They rape any woman they find on their farm, or alternatively, you leave your farm for them so that your life can be spared. That's the situation we're in and facing here. Last month, Rotomi Akerdolu, governor of the state, issued a seven-day quick notice to the herdsmen operating illegally in the state's forest reserves. Apart from rejecting the herdsmen, the governor also banned underage grazing, night grazing, and movement of cattle within the cities and on highways. The fact that grazing on highways was a thing and it had to be banned? Hmm. The governor has said today we have taken major steps to addressing the root cause of kidnapping in particular and other nefarious activities detailed and documented in security reports. The press and debriefings from victims of kidnap cases in Nondo State, as the chief law and security officer of the state, it is my constitutional obligation to do everything lawful to protect the lives and property of all residents of this state. In light of the foregoing, the following orders are hereby issued. All forest reserves in the state must to be must be vacated by herdsmen within the next seven days with effect from today. Monday, the 8th of January, 2021. The issue generated an uproar after a meeting with some stakeholders. Akerdolu asked headsmen to register with the government so they can operate unhindered, operate unhindered in the forest reserves. That is true. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, it is very, very scary. And I don't know. Each state has their Twitter and social media handles. And if they want to, I don't know. We're assuming they all have things. But we need to make this matter trend and put pressure on the government to go and fish out these people because their means of livelihood is literally taken away from them. And it's obviously sad, but it's they need to come up with a solution because it's their land and it can't just be happening and this can't continue. It is what it is. The people there, they will have to fight for it. Sma says, Ondo says the governor should give the farmers weapons to defend themselves. Um... That might be a uh, maybe give sophisticated weapons to a motorcycle. Maybe that's a better option because with arms and heavy arms, giving that to the public, it comes with a huge responsibility. And again, everyone's moral standing is different. You don't know what could happen. It's not safe. 
if anything, the government could actually invest or, you know, provide top notch, you know, um, facilities and, you know, arms to Amotekun or their police force. Someone here says then the government should resign if he doesn't have answers to the problem of the farmers. Resigning, then the whole governors of Nigeria have to resign because they are all incompetent, really. But um, it again, I think the government is doing what they've been, they know how to do best, and what they've been doing for a long time is basically giving fake words of hope and all that. For change to happen, the people need to, uh, they need to show themselves. I understand that we have to recuperate and understand that you know the government is you know, fixing and being deliberate with sort of putting trauma in the minds of people. But if you really want change, you're going to have to step out of it. Obviously, it takes grace. It's not easy. Easier said than done, but realistically, that's the only solution. Somebody says here they cannot penetrate Igbo land, and that is why they use military to merely intimidate them. They are cowards. I heard that Minister of Defence has approved self-protection. It is so ironic. When your minister of defense has come to tell you that security is not the responsibility of the military alone, we are finished. Someone here says, take laws into your hands since the government has failed. Exactly. And I think when we hold this government accountable, they will technically have no right to use the, use the, use the argument that, you know, farmers or people took laws into their own hands because we held them accountable we recorded everything that they said and how they were incompetent and the people were left with no choice so yeah again if you take laws into your hands we know the nigerian government will use it against you that's why we have to hold them accountable not necessarily tell them but keep record and track of what they say what they do and their their lack of proactivity Someone says, you voted Buhari into government for a second tenure. I hope the next level is sweet. Wow. <laughs> Someone here says, unbelievable. Fulani have Fulani has finally sacked Yoruba indigenous from their own ancestral land. Again, it is true. When we're talking about the indigenous and ancestral land of people, that's just what it is. No one, you can't just come here and use the term of one Nigerian when it suits you or, you know, yeah, that that right to go where you want. Uh, uh-uh, Nigeria is very divided, and we understand our ancestral land, our ancestral language. We know what is ours, especially when it comes to our land. So no one can intimidate us when it comes to that area. But yeah, it's sad because even we've heard that five thousand people have fled to Benin Republic. It's sad, but in that region, they need to step up, and it just is what it is. Put what you think, and do not forget to like and subscribe.